Here we go. Second time's the charm. I did one game just now and I played Dark Willow. That's kind of a weird game. I mean, we won, but I had like an ET carry Phoenix mid. The other team was kind of tilted. We did like some dumb stuff, so I don't think it was that useful. So this is the guy we just beat or one of the carries. He was pretty tilted. Let's try to do that again. Hard support. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Last time I was position five. five. Ban Rubik. I want to try, or last time I was position four. I want to do Venomancer five because historically I felt like this was bad. That means we won't have any hard stuns in our usual abilities. Oh, Venomancer's... Oh, man! Alright, we'll beat Jakiro. Oh, usually I think Venomancer 5 is bad, but I wanted to play it because I saw it at the tournament, at some of the tournaments more, and pros are doing it because Venomancer is kind of busted right now. That's why I wanted to give it a shot as a position 5, see how I feel about it. I mean, I see it working for some of the pros, but, you know, I want to try it out myself. Usually my concern is when people try to play at position 5, they play too greedy with it, and then it's, like, not good. But if you can have the discipline to not do it, then I think it could be fine. But throw that idea completely out the window. We're playing Jakiro. Um, haven't seen a gyrocopter in a while. Oh, it's ranked 500. Well, that's kind of high. I didn't even notice. Um, by the way, we're going to start streaming soon. In the description, you should see of this video, Twitch link, Discord link, and a Twitter link. We're going to start trying to... Uh, I don't really use Twitter, but we'll start trying to... And the Discord will help uh, try to build a community of support players supporting other support players, you know? Um, hang on. Let's uh, think about the game real quick. So, probably Abaddon, Earthshaker, double melee. So, I have a Gyro. Earthshaker's not a hugely strong laner if he's not able to... Okay, I, I want to make sure I can pull. So I'm buying the sentry. I'm thinking about buying a windlace. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy a windlace. The sentry is because Earthshaker can block off his creeps, and then if he also blocks the pull camp, what do you do? You just lane in a really bad position, and it sucks. So that's all I can envision Earthshaker doing in this lane. And so by buying the sentry, I make sure that he cannot do that. So we are... Do I even... Does he have a salve? He does not. Okay, if I get a salve, 110, I will not have enough for the wind lace. That's probably fine. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll do this. I don't envision myself needing a salve particularly quickly, but just in case they get a really good fissure block on myself or Gyro that doesn't actually kill us, then I want the salve to heal us up, and I think a salve is generally good to have in a lane. And, um, hmm, maybe we will try an early magic stick. I did want to test it out. We go healing self, mango, and then a fast stick potentially. Fast stick or windlace. Um, this game should be okay. Morphling's a little scary, but besides that, um, I feel okay. Our lineup's decent. Their lineup's not bad either, though. It's uh, in my mind, it's really about Morphling whether he pops off or not. Not sure what we'll get, but we'll queue them up. And we're going to walk over here. We do have a position 4 puck, which is a little weird, which could either go well or bad for us. Um, let's see. Yeah, it depends on skill. Pretty much how I feel about it. Invoker... I don't know, hopefully this guy's a good invoker player. Quas, maybe Quaswex, Quas Exor. I want to be walking out this far. I need to be a little careful because if I get fissured off and he starts like his passive, then I, I would take a lot of damage. I don't think I would die, but I could take a lot of damage. But then again, that would mean he starts with his passive, and I think that would be acceptable. I think against a Gyro, he probably wants to start, uh, not Q, W. 
my plan this lane is to pretty much pull a lot and let's get the next ward and then have a, a ward over here to uh let gyro know if he's about to get like fissured off and as long as he doesn't get fissured off while i'm pulling the lane should be fine um it's double melee versus double ranged my concern is the bottom lane hopefully they'll be okay bottom what's this guy rank 500 against what 2000 Ugh. okay so morphling will probably get his farm <laughs> but invoker can hopefully get a fast soul vessel and hopefully that'll help us deal with ab uh, morphling although abaddon can purge off and that's kind of an issue um but i think putt can deal with crystal maiden so hopefully that lane's fine i'm not too worried about our lane and then mids the skill matchup so let's see what everyone's got invoker are you gonna get a spirit vessel uh, maybe if you don't want to. I don't want to. And I want him to. I know it's not the best with an Abaddon. Okay, go vessel or what? I can go vessel. Ward. I suspect that ward is meant to block one of these camps, but we are prepared. That's what the sentry's for, boys. I don't know if there's much to talk about because nothing's happened yet. Gyro is a little short range, so of all the ranged heroes to have against melee, there is that. But he does have rocket barrage, which is pretty good against uh, melees. Uh, downside is that Aphotic Shield is also pretty good against that stuff. So I'm not going to use a spell here just because he's got boots. We're not going to kill him. And you see he doesn't have regen. It's because he doesn't really plan to lane. This clarity tells me that he plans to lock this lane once or twice. Clarity up as soon as he uses the first fissure. And then he's just going to like play to the side, stop pulls, and try to let the lane be all the way up here. And that's why I have this Sentry Ward to spot this he will probably if i had to guess if i was Earthshaker, this is what i would do um when lane spawns i would block the creeps come up here block the creeps and then body block this camp there's actually nothing we can do to stop that besides to try to harass him a bit and make him pay for that and if he tries to block the camp with a ward we can deward that and if he body blocks it uh, there's nothing we can really do about that we're gonna just have to play the lane out like all the way up here but fortunately for us, even up here, we shouldn't be at too much risk of dying, so. And if he doesn't block this camp, if he forgets to body block or misses it or whatever, then we're going to use this to pull and restore the balance as much as possible. We'll probably have to do a half pull, depending what the camp is. Half pull into a stack or something. 30 seconds to show time. Abaddon got... Oof. So they are going to try to be a little aggressive, actually. Otherwise, you wouldn't buy an Orb of Venom. The guy is backing up because he can't let himself get fissured off. You know what? I can, though. I might, I might walk in. Well, I didn't expect three heroes here. And here we go. So Gyra is dead. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't expect the Crystal Maiden. Would have been fine without that. Can you bring the uh can you bring my magic stick? I don't know if that's the right item. Maybe I'm gonna get flamed and be like, why'd you buy a magic stick? I guess that's a no. That's cool, dude. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna see any creeps here because he is fissuring them off. Oh no, maybe he just body blocked. Okay, I don't see a ward on him. I expect he blocked the small camp. I want to go check it like as soon as I can. Uh, I'm going to go check this for a ward and try to deward it. I, I want this to spawn. I don't care if I miss it. Guaranteeing it spawns is worth it in my book. Um, but he may not have placed it here. And he's here to body block anyways. Uh, what a... Okay, that's kind of bad on my part. 
Oh, I was not paying attention that I was there. Am I stupid? I think I am, guys. I got my courier killed, and I missed a really obvious ward. I'm blind. And he still body blocked it because I'm dumb. slow on this and it's not gonna happen anyways I shouldn't have done that I'm not gonna kill him Rare path, an ice path kill. <laughs> All right, usually leveling ice path really bad, um, but I wasn't sure we were gonna get that kill otherwise, and I think it's worth it to secure that. So we're gonna do a pull here. This guy's gonna stop me. Start blasting out spells to get him low and try to kill him. Well, at least we made him use Fissure. Uh, maybe we can still stack this, actually, if we're lucky. Okay, that's stacked. So that's pretty good. Now we will just pull the next one, and we're going to pull through back here so that there's a less chance it gets blocked. You want me to push it? Uh-oh. I might actually get that kill. Nice. Be careful not to take too much aggro here. I don't care that I missed that. Uh, I don't want to take too much damage for this. I may have missed this timing, but... Oh no, I did miss it. Oh, just a little though. This is your fault. <laughs> okay, lane's going well, though. For all these shenanigans. Oh. It's not here. Which means we're free to do this pull and they can't really stop us. Oh, oh I could have gotten that lasted if I played that better. Can I die if I just go in here? Probably. I'm gonna go for this and then TP out. Or maybe I won't. I'm going back to base. We're gonna pull this first and then go back to base. Oh, especially because it's a Cobalt camp. It's just gonna die. So why pull it if we're just going to leave? Great question. I don't know if it's the fully correct choice, but I think that I want this Cobalt camp to die. And oh no. Okay, they're pulling it back in. Um, and it'll keep the lane near here for Gyro. It'll help us push the lane because now like this wave and this wave are very close together. And then by the time I get back there, we'll be good to go. Does he need anything? No, I think he's fine. Okay, I want to go top again. That top tower I want to buy another set of tangos. I don't really. I'm like. Actually, maybe he's fine. Maybe I'm gonna go bottom. 
guy get a bassy? He did it. Shaker like just stay mid for the past five minutes already. Okay, Gyro's off to a great start. We're just gonna go bottom. I wish I was level three. That is the downside of all this. But Gyro's six and he'll be totally fine. I wish I had left a ward for him, but at least there's a ward here. Crystal Maiden. Boy, I wish I had level 2. Level 2 Q. Oh! Nice. Tranquil's on the way. I wish I hadn't done that though. I really need more mana. I should have bought um, some mana region items. Oh, he's healing. This is a really tough kill. I don't have mana for Gyro's just free farming up there, so that's good for us. I'm gonna pull this. Dive me, I dare you. It's kind of a big commitment to kill an earth shaker, but you know. <laughs> Oops, and Vogue could have had that one. Oh well. Yo, get away from me. She was really close to just ulting me, I think. <laughs> like that. Okay, we'll just get the XP here then. Um, looks like... Well, actually, I don't know if she won. He may have rotated and that's how she got ahead. Okay, we're finally level 4. We're a little under-leveled. But getting this XP here will help us. Ow. Ah, uh, Puck might need this though. I think Puck is gonna need this. Oops. Get away from me, Lena. Careful, you can't kill. Alright, it's fine. It's good for us to kill her. We're gonna place this here because uh Puck, you can take the tome. Path or my. 
Okay, we'll start leveling up Ice Path. You can kill me if someone commit. Okay, we're gonna continue leaving Cairo here. I don't. I shouldn't have really been top. Lena was heading top. We're gonna go back bottom and just keep pressuring this. I think. Um, I kind of feel like. All right, we can try. Cool. Okay, we see all four of them and Lena's dead, so it's safe to walk in here. This is how you can like ward deeply without dying. I know where all four are. Now if I get spotted here, it'll be kind of obvious what's happening, so I'm trying to get out now. Although with Puck here, we might be able to kill like a stray Crystal Maiden. And that's what I'm looking for now. I would like to kill Morphin. Lena's bot, Lena's bot. I have no spells, you have a bot. No way, they're just letting you know. There's no way that's warded because, uh... Her sugar would not have just walked up here. Or it would... Well, the courier might have still gone over, but... Yeah, we're coming mid now. Okay. Yeah, if you arena two people or something, I've got my ult. Want a man up in here? I don't care. Ah, oh, it's not enough to kill her. Oh, that was unfortunate. I thought that was going way better than it was. Oh! God damn it. Darn. Maybe I should have just tried to dual breath her, but I think she was too far. Okay, Gyro is massive though. So far, how close is he to Ags? Very. Gyro is really close to Ags though. Yeah, I know it sucks. <laughs> that fight was like almost fantastic for us. Um, really need to get one of these towers though. I don't know if I want to buy anything. I took one mango in case I need to cast like a major spell suddenly. We got um, Bassy and Infused Raindrops because mana regen is always great. Okay, Mars is down here, so we don't need to be here. Let's see if maybe we can double stack this. It's really good to stack a lot when you have a Gyro on your team. I'm going to stack these. And keep an eye on the runes here. I should have been a little closer. I may not get this one. Uh, I think it's okay. Okay, and we're gonna clarity our carry because we're good people. A lot of people up there. Can we try to take this tower? Oh yeah, kill this bitch. <laughs> you ain't allowed to walk over here. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> We were saving our W for, um... Your mid tower's coming apart. Okay, I, want, I don't want to lose this, so I'm TPing in. Uh, maybe I should have just macro pyred. Maybe that would have saved it. What do we want to build? I think we want to build a Yule's. 
Although Force Staff might be nice to get across Earthshaker stuff and to instant stun people when Puck ults. I might do that. Um, but Yules is nice to be able to cancel CM to maybe precast it on him so he can't like blink echo. Um, tough call. Uh, they're all missing Pierre for bottom. No breaking down the radiant structure like this. Casting spells to force this out quickly. In fact, we're just gonna macro pyre this. Oh, I am I'm dead. Alright, Lena's got hers. <laughs> Um, that's where <laughs> Yule's is very good, so that when she does that, you use it, you use yours as well. Um, this is Shadow Amulet. We're gonna need Dust. <laughs> A missile kill, that's pretty uncommon. Okay. I think we'll get a four staff just to provide a bit more utility for the team. I guess we'll take this just to have something. Okay, I TP'd here because uh, there were creeps here and because this is like the next objective is to move mid. Ah, I missed those. I want to play around Gyro. He's really strong right now. I got a haste. I'm running. I'm running. I have all the wards. I have not been great about placing him. I'm dead again. Hey, me for Abaddon. All right, just uh, she still has her ult. She still has her ult. Oh, you're just gonna get ulted. Okay. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna TP mid to go push that out again. This incinerate. Ah, that's what came in with the clutch, baby. Oh. oh, I should have waited a second to hit all the creeps. I wasn't paying attention. The timing pushing this in somewhat quickly. We don't have Q leveled up, so it's pretty slow. Um, but I want the farm, and I also wanted to. Uh, um, we're gonna put it here. here. His morphling is closing on the point where he could potentially yeah. get solo Roche. Um, I don't think he's quite there yet, especially because he went Midas. But this will last for a while until he potentially reaches that point. We got top. I don't have one on me. Careful from Shaker Blink. I don't know if he has it or not. I just don't want to take the risk. But my Blink is on the way. I've been blink echoed. That one's fine. Okay. 
Uh, that's fine. That's the blink reveal and his echo. So we are good for 150 seconds because he's only, and yeah. She's getting a MKB, I guess. Interesting. Um, it's kind of a good Glimmer Cape game. I might get that. After you get that, if you cap this, I can TP in. Okay, I'm ready to TP up there. Morphling's in here. So I want to... I'm right behind you. Ah, uh, you can't do it alone. Oh, nice silence. Could we do Rocher? I don't think he has Echo yet. I don't think we need this attack range yet. Let's just level up our passive. Um, I don't even know if we need the attack range at all, actually. Hmm. But Spell Amp isn't that good, I feel like, as a support. Although, it's kind of nice. I'm going to come cut this tree. Place that there. I don't think they've put anything here. Nope. Okay. Kinda. Oh, okay. Es is TPing in. Oh, I would buy back. Um, I don't know if we want to continue. Just kidding. Careful of Earthshaker. He's here though. Earthshaker. Earthshaker. I would have bought back for this fight if I if I had the money. I wish I had placed a ward before I died. Because now my team, they like want to do Roche, but it's scary without vision, and I don't think Puck's carrying any. There, we can clear this out and run right over. We're going to remember to get the Roche on time because this is the second game and I already missed one timing. Might be able to kill her. Okay, he went bottom. I can clear to you, Gyra. They're meaning to smash that bottom tower of yours. I have so many. Alright, he's not here. Your bottom. I think he knows. They have a shaker in our triangle, I think. I'm running. Shaker is in our triangle. Oh. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but you know what? I guess it's fine. Shaker is, he, this, this rocket is following the Shaker, by the way. Uh, I think we get mid tower. Yeah, just give me tower. We're gonna try to place oh, it. Blinked. It blinked. Deep ward. I think he's dead. I don't want to reveal my position quite yet. See if I can cut them off on the back or the side, anyways. Um, are we 
can get a Glimmer or a Yule's. He already has a Yule's actually, so we can just get Glimmer, I think, because they do have a good amount of magic damage. Um, the attack talent lets us stay further back, which is quite useful against these kind of heroes. Um, and I don't, honestly, I don't like Spell Amp that much. I play, I've played a Logic Hero, and I just feel like the damage isn't that worth it as position five. I just think like placing the attack slow safely and constantly is way better. I'm not sure why I was holding that macro fire, to be honest. Uh, that was not the best spell usage from me. That's a really fortunate ice path timing. I think we won. I don't have Echo, so we're fine, I think. Famous last words, but that's how I feel. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that was funny. Nice work, guys. Alright. We will upload this game. I think that one was, this one was good. Uh, specifically, I want to highlight that there was stuff I could have done better, but I think what was really good to note there is that I was able to identify... I gotta brag, right? Um, I was able to identify that how Earthshaker plays a land, right? I, I knew that he wants to block the camps and then... Um, I'm sorry. Fisher block the creeps and then block the camps. Who just... I don't know. We'll just... I just commend these guys. They were nice and talkative. It made the game easy. Um, I was able to identify that he wants to block the creeps and then block the small pull camp, and that's why we start with the sentry. And so, even though I, even though I messed up and my sentry did see his ward and I he, he denied it, and I I just was blind and wasn't paying attention, I guess. Um, the philosophy was there, and so the lane was really easy. You saw I really didn't do anything to Abaddon and. I think we killed him once, but I don't even know if that was like really me. My skill build ended up being a little weird, but it was because I saw the potential for a kill. That's why I got Ice Path. Otherwise, I get Ice Path at 4. Um, and occasionally you get it at 3 for the same reasons why you might get it at level 2, is if you see a kill. <laughs> I can't believe I got an Ice Path kill. This thing does 50 damage. Um, but from there, it's really easy, right? I was a bit under-leveled, but look at Gyro. He did fantastic. And yeah, I'm a little low, but you see I'm like the same value as their position four, and their position five is doing well, but our carry is doing fantastic. And yeah, he just keeps going. So we were able to get him off to a good start. I may have rotated bottom a little too soon. I think I should have gotten level three first. But in the end, it worked out because we won, right? Um... But yeah, I was a little underleveled that game, and I didn't have the best spell casting. A couple mistakes there. Um, it's been a little bit since I was trying to talk and play at the same time. 
So I'll, I'll excuse myself a little bit there. Um, but overall, I think it went well. We chose to level Ice Path first because Gyro outputs a lot of damage. He has um, Puck and Mars have like solid damage. It's nothing like crazy, but it's like, it's pretty decent. And then Invoker has spells that he wants people to set up. So like the EMP. And that's where, even though EMP and Ice Path probably won't kill anyone, um, if you are able to EMP like two people in a fight and then they can't cast spells, you're in a really good shape um, from there. So, uh, warding, I was also a little off that game. Um, but that's why, I, sorry, <laughs> let me finish that first thought. That's why I leveled Ice Path. I felt my team had enough damage, and I felt like Puck, Puck was pretty good at pushing out waves as a, as a support, so it's like we don't both need to do that. But what Puck doesn't provide without the ult is any sort of stun, and so that's why I chose Ice Path that game. I didn't feel like I needed the talent because... I just didn't want to get close. Uh, or like, even though I would have been able to cast E from further away because there was this purge from Abaddon and because that plus 325 doesn't really help me hit these ranged heroes. It's like, it's pretty good against melee heroes, but against ranged heroes who are going to be, like imagine a line. Their ranged hero is here hitting my melee hero and I'm back here. The plus 325 does not help me hit this hero. Whereas if they're melee heroes, they're like closer, and then the 325 is really nice. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever from me talking, but that's why I didn't get the talent quite yet. And because I just don't think six spell amp is that useful as a support, um, especially because my team had the damage. Itemization, four staff was totally worth it to get the CM killed at the very end. That was really funny. Forcing her forward and bouncing her off the wall. That was hilarious to me. Um... But other items I think could have been good are Yules to do a bit of setup to, um, for example, lift her up before she can, or when she's ulting, I have another way to cancel her ult. Um, when his ult pops, you Yules him and then he doesn't heal and he can't run anywhere. Um, Lena, if she Yules me, which she did several times that game, um, I can Yules right after. And most most people cannot get the timing perfectly where you stun just as your Yules ends, so you're able to Yules and make them miss their stun. And then Earthshaker, I'm not the best at this, but in theory, you can constantly pre-cast it on Earthshaker if you see him, so that when he blinks in, you instantly cast the Yules and prevent him from echoing, which he did twice on me, which is honestly kind of fine. Um, so Yules would have been good. I think Glimmer is also pretty good because magic, 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 burst magic. She's kind of like some physical, but still a lot of magic. He... He's not really doing damage that game, but if he shields someone and they go in, you know, that's magic too. So Glimmer would have been pretty nice for the for the team, I think. And so that when they're like all, when she's trying to do this combo on me, when he's trying to burst me, that extra magic resist and possibly the passive magic resist, but if I'm actually able to use Glimmer in time, that extra magic resist as well, very good to help survive their burst if they find me solo. Um, so I think all three items had merit and I ultimately chose four staff because um to combo with the puck to i honestly i hadn't i'll be honest i didn't think of pushing people into the alt um but that that does have value there um to provide a bit of utility get away from get through fissure get away from these guys um like if i get yules and then i four staff right away sometimes i can dodge the stun although that one usually people's timing is close enough that that's not so easy at this level um, getting away from her slows and when you're when she's ulting to quickly get in range to stun her or to get away um, and as a, a save for my gyrocopter mm. neutrals we didn't really get that many useful neutrals for me i think so i didn't really didn't really make use of it and i think that's it uh yeah if you like this kind of thing we're gonna plug ourselves again Check in for the stream. Check the description. Um, we're going to start streaming probably this Friday. Friday or Saturday. Um, the Discord as well, so that if you have requests for, you know, you want to see a replay, you want to see specific heroes, chit chat, ask whatever questions, I'll be there. Um, Twitter as well, but I, I don't really use Twitter. I'm going to try to get into it, but I'll use that to update. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!